Crustini Linux is not a full-blown operating system like Ubuntu or Linux Mint, but it shares with them the same underpinnings. When you install a full-blown Linux distribution, you get a desktop and a large collection of apps, just like you do when you install Windows or Mac OS. Not so with Crustini. All you get to start out with is the command line interface of the Linux terminal, but that is about to change. In order to make Crustini look more like a real operating system, we need to install a file manager. I like Nemo, but if you have experience with uh, Linux and have a favorite file manager other than Nemo, feel free to install it instead of Nemo. For what it's worth, Nemo is Latin for nobody. Some TVs have a PIP capability, that is picture in picture. With PIP, you can be watching a football game and in a little window in the lower right of the screen, you have your favorite news channel running or cartoons for that matter. Crustini Linux is sort of like that PIP news window. It is one way that Google extends the capabilities of Chrome OS by allowing foreign apps to run on its platform. You can also run Android apps on Chrome OS. This is how Google has a leg up on Microsoft and Apple because uh, you can only run Mac OS apps on Mac OS and uh, Windows apps on Windows. The exception being cross-platform apps like Roots Trust that can run on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and Chrome OS. So getting to the task at hand, open your, your Linux terminal window and type sudo apt install Nemo. and hit enter. Again, be prepared to type Y to continue. Uh, this will take several minutes to complete. There we go. We need to type Y. Again, we have a primitive progress bar at the bottom of the window composed of a growing line of pound signs. As you can see, we still have a ways to go. This is taking longer than the enabling of Linux. We're not even half done.
you're getting there. Okay, Nemo has been successfully installed. To start Nemo, all you have to do is type in N-E-M-O and hit enter. So the only thing we see is the desktop folder. And if I double click its icon, it opens up and shows us the contents of the desktop. Since we haven't yet installed any apps, we see an empty folder. In the next video, I will show you how to install the Linux apps that Roots Trust needs to perform some of its functions.